we are in training for the Annapolis Boat Show because we're gonna be there this year. I'm Sid, and these are my best friends. My mom, Kim, my dad, Ty, and my sister, Maddie, who before starting her own adventure, joined us in rocking out a state-of-the-art refit on our floating home. Now, we're ready to set sail to die with memories, not dreams, and live dauntless. All right, guys, this is a disaster area. Look at this train wreck. This is what it looks like when you've got 50 projects going on in the boat and all of your extra crap ends up in your utility room. So, so I'm going to get this room cleared out and get all of this crap over to that room and uh, so I can clear up the floor because the first thing we gotta do is we gotta handle the floor. Once the floor is done, then we can start working on doing drawer faces and getting the veneer below the counter and then we'll be able to finish all this top stuff and well, you'll see. Let's get on it. All right, we are getting ready. We, I am getting ready to uh, set these tiles down. So I've gone through here. The plywood that we put in is just a hair shallower or thinner than the actual existing floor. I wasn't able to get matching thickness plywood when we started this process, but um, that's either here or there because it would be shimmed up from the bottom. So now everything is smooth and level. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay these tiles in here. I've snapped a line or drawn, drawn a line. Drew? Drew it. I've drawn a line. And these tiles, of course, are gonna go in here and they are gonna be on an alternating pattern like so. And um, they just get set down with an adhesive. Um, kind of, It's kind of like contact cement, the, the adhesive that we use. But this tile is called VCT. It's a vinyl composite tile. It's actually like 80% clay and there's some vinyl binders in it, but it's extremely durable. I use it in garages and commercial spaces. I'm sure you guys have seen this in hospitals and stuff like that, but um, it's an eighth of an inch thick. It's crazy durable and we're gonna be able to put a wax on it um, to uh, make it shiny and so it doesn't stain and what have you. When I put it down in here and I go over all of these holes, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna lay these tiles in um, and lay them on the actual hatches and then I'm gonna use this router bit and I'm gonna trim off the excess with my trim router so that the uh, hatches actually will drop in. Then what I'm gonna do is lay the tile around it and then I'll be able to lay another piece and glue it that overhangs with the hatch missing and then I'll be able to take the same trim bit and trim off the opening. So it will look like it's the same tile when it's actually two different tiles that I cut, but it will look like it, well, it look like it was laid and then cut out with a router, which we're just gonna do it half and half. Does that make sense? I'll, well, show, you. I'll show you here. Why don't you just show us? Yeah, I'll show okay. you. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna lay out my uh, pieces to start off with, and then I'll come back and show you how I'm actually putting the glue down, which goes down wet and dries clear. And then when that's done, I can start putting tiles down on the floor. So let me get that done and I'll show you what's next. Okay, all the center pieces are down, but obviously as I'm working on it, I can move it and that's not cool. So I'm gonna let this center section set. I've covered everything that I've put on down with glue down. Now tomorrow I'm gonna lift up those sections. It's gonna be very awkward overhanging everywhere. Um, and then I'll come in and heat it up and trim it around the edges and get a nice clean trim. I can't believe how easy it is to actually cut it when you heat it up. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna use the heat gun and use a really sharp razor knife and get clean, nice cuts. That's what I'm gonna do. See you tomorrow.
All right, next day, and I am pulling out the floor pieces, flipping them over, and cutting off the excess so I can make a, well, a nice scribed edge. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing right now, and that's basically just heating up the perimeter and then cutting with the razor knife. It's super easy to cut once you heat it up, um, nice and hot with a heat gun. Just like that. All right, trying to get these next three sections out without breaking any tiles is gonna be a bit of a challenge because this stuff is crazy durable, like for compression, but it's really, really brittle. Thus, it needs to be glued down to a solid flat surface. So, I'm gonna break out the trusty suction cup again, just like I used for the fuel tank. And uh, watch this, see how clever I think I might be. Oh, uh, <laughs> allow me to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Coyote, Wild E. Coyote. Uh, I am a genius by trade. By trying to pick up all of this at one time, two suction cups. cut and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, draw lines on the floor that indicate where the edge of the tiles are gonna be that I need to lay around there this stuff really does take 24 to 48 hours to set up it's been 24 now and the glue's still a little fluid um, so if you step on it or push on it or it, it, it shifts and of course I don't want that so um, I'm going to do my lines again I am going to glue everything down, overhang all of the tiles, and then just leave it until, this is Friday, I'm gonna leave it until Sunday morning, and it'll sit completely undisturbed for about 36 to 40 hours. And I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. down on this side and I'm going to come in here and heat up the heat gun and trim off the excess so that I can then drop the floor hatches back in make sure everything lines up and then I'll cut and lay out the, the last final pieces to finish the floor. Cut that out right there. So Ty and I have decided that we're not quite as healthy as we should be. <laughs> Our exercise level is not. Boat work's not doing it, guys. No. Boat work's but not doing it. Much to the contrary, boat yoga, car, sorry. Boat yoga does not keep you in shape. So every day for the last 
five, five days, six days. Trump thick. Every day for the last six days, we've been going on a walk. Two miles, down to the jetty, back, at a good pace. At a decent pace. It's hard to have that pace while you're recording, but still, we pick it up a little bit when I'm not trying to make a video. And Stella loves it. And Stella. Where's she at? There she is. Stella is very excited. So we are in training for the Annapolis Boat Show because we're going to be there this year. Right. So leave us a comment down below if you're going to be at the boat show too and let us know what day or days you're going to be there. That's right. I got to get in shape for my new swag. <laughs> That's right. All right. All right, guys. Got to pick up the pace. All right, guys, Woo, we're tired. Walk's over, but we realized we forgot to tell you about our discount code for the Annapolis Boat Show. So jump on the link below, and when you get over there, type in Sail Dauntless 22. 22. Sail Dauntless 22, that's the coupon code to get your discount on your tickets. That's right. All right, see you guys later. Don't tell mom that I'm standing in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm making a bit of a mess. All right, sanding these guys down so I can uh, put veneer on them because they're a little rough even though that's sanded ply. So I'm hitting it with a, what is this said? 240 grit and then I'll wipe them down and put veneer and edge banding on them. Okay, I have got two updates. One, the floor's done, and I'm gonna show you that here right now. And- Stop, get a microphone. I'm getting yelled at. Can I have a microphone? She doesn't think you can hear me. All right, so what I'm going to do is, now that the floor is done, is I'm gonna get down in here and with some black stain, on the plywood edging where I've cut, and I'm going to stain that so that when you look at the floor, it just blends in with black lines. And then I'm gonna take and stack up all of my drawer faces that I have cut, and I've put edge banding on so far, and just make sure that they all line up and everything fills in, and I'm happy with the way that it looks as I stack them all up here. And then I'll come back and veneer them and glue them on, and then they'll be ready for our uh, handles. So let's get on it. So, I've uh, conscripted some labor here. And I can't believe you trust me to do it. Kim's doing the edges of the plugs and I'm doing the edges of the holes. So hopefully we'll get it done twice as fast. And uh, then we'll show you what the uh, floor looks like in the drawers after I adjust all the drawer faces. So, cool. That's it, that's all I got. So exciting. Isn't this exciting? So exciting. This is the, the joys of boat work, people. It's a, what is it? Um, Tedious? Not pivotal. That's not the word. I sound dumb. One moment later, <laughs> while Sydney figures out what the word she wants know, to use. I know, I know. It's fine. All right, well, I'll leave you to it and I'll come back in a couple minutes. We'll just be here. Great. Staining. Painting. Staining. Staining, not Staining. Painting. Okay, bye. We don't trust mom to paint. No. No. Okay, bye. No offense. None <laughs> taken. Truth. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, bye. All right, guys. This is what the floor looks like when it's done. Dig it. Those seams have disappeared or mostly disappeared. They're still a little bit darker because I think the stain is a little sheen on it. hasn't completely dried yet, but it's pretty snazzy drawer faces so now all the drawers with our poles 
are all in and done. I am not going to show you doing the veneer in the rest of this train wreck. However, we'll be back for the follow-up and the after, but this will give you a good look at what it was like mid-construction and full disaster. <laughs>